Shalom Aleichem everyone, my name is Nirnak and today we're back on our adventure. Um, so the first time I tried recording this, I had a bit of a mess up. We did a thing and then it didn't work. So I had to completely replay this game up until this point because this game saves automatically. Because mm. why not? It's always fun. But um, before I remembered that we had actually only walked out the door, uh, came over here, I messed with this potter be potted plant thing, so it was crooked, but now it's not crooked. The garden ad does not follow the alignment. Exactly. Said that, and then yeah, I... that's better. It is symmetrical. Exactly. And then I looked at the rat. Green pellets. Well, I guess the pellets. <laughs> Revolting. And was that about the pellets or the rat? Anyway, that was what I did. And then I remembered that uh, it was not where I had actually left off. Then we had a gray cell thing involving the rats. No, no, no. That was the other video. That's okay. not this video. But don't. That happened after the rats. We said that. Yeah, but that didn't happen recorded. this time. I'm not sure why. Probably because we m messed with that one first. Don't okay. go mixing. I would like to congratulate Clark it's been a while. What symmetry? Wait. You just said up there that his symmetry sucked. Then we come down here and we look at a bush and you go, Oh, what good symmetry. Well, it's fixed now. This fountain makes a very relaxing sound. It doesn't really. It sounds like worms crawling through flesh. <laughs> it's rather revolting. Oh, actually, wait, no, come this way. Come this way. This way. This way, this way. He's very slow. He is. It's Doing ridiculous. A great job at taking this time. And I can't make him run. It's not like there's a murderer to catch. It was probably the gardener who lit this fire. Only probably, though. Look here. I wonder if mm. someone wanted to get rid of these papers. This object would probably be useful to me. Probably. Though why Let would you assume try and get our brain cells to work? Hi. Well, now we do the gray cells. We did things in a different order. Oh, why did Thora... Yeah, Thora, leave personal belongings behind. What? Uh, she did leave the gifts. Her Michael wrote to Franklin to tell him that he found Thora charming. Thora Gray, expert in art history. She left a letter behind. Stayed behind to settle the affairs. A dagger is missing. Thora did not want to be accused of theft. Everything that Thor Grey has left behind comes from Sir Carmichael's collection. He most probably gave them to her. But he chose to leave them here rather than run the risk of being accused of theft. It is understandable when we know just how much Lady Clark is trusted. Mistrust, I think, could have used there. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Wait, is she a poisoner? Let's see. There was a letter. There was a poisoned rat. There was... Poison. Uh, I think she was tried to poison her. Uh, had only a little while left to live. Thor Gray never considered poisoning Lady Clark. Thor Gray had no reason to kill someone who only had a few months left to live. Well, <laughs> the there's poison one she ordered was the rats. With only the gardener must have made yeah, to to speed it up. considering yeah. the stinking remains on the And you could do that because you're property. impatient, or to try to ease I've their suffering here. a bit. I must put the skeleton yeah, key back and like inform that, sure Aces that I'm returning to London. Yeah, it depends on who you're dealing with. What, rat poisoning to ease someone's suffering? Eh, and it's not actually an effective murder weapon. It only messes up your organs a lot of the time. It doesn't generally actually kill you. I don't know, if they get... A constant amount of heavy doses, wouldn't it eventually cause organ failure? Pro uh, maybe. I'm sure if you just ate a couple pieces once, it would well, cause e damage, but not. even a sizable amount, even once, won't do you in. Alright. Uh, though that could be because of today's medicine and stuff like that. Yeah. Now I'm supposed to... April 19th. Yeah, no. Shh. Shh. Shut up. April... I, I want to put 
The key, the key goes there. It did. Thank you. Perfect. Nothing else is keeping me here. There you go. Yep. And now we leave. Yep. Let's try to catch the murderer. Mm -hmm. He's doing such a great job right now, though. I mean, he's only like three bodies behind. Yeah. I am not going to leave Comside now. I still have some things to do. What? You just said we had nothing keeping us here. Right. Are the things? I have finished in Sherston. I will take the first train. Tell me, do you know how to restore writing on a burned document? Yes, you just have to soak a cloth with a hydrochloric acid solution and rub the sheet of paper. Really? Then the characters appear. Bien. I wonder if that's true. You have been of great assistance, Hastings. Probably. Could you please order the solution mm -hmm. as soon as possible? The, uh, of course, but what documents do you want to read? Acid mentioned. Is that you like stuff you get in lemons? As a soir. Uh, hydrochloric? No. no. I'm thinking about the using lemons for showing secret letters with the uh, invisible ink stuff. The invisible, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't. I've had an idea about hydrochloric now. What you're thinking Don of is Fraser acidic is here. acid. Yeah, that's he insisted what I'm on of. waiting to see you. Now we go and move. Honestly, dear lord. Stare at him awkwardly in plain view that we're doing so. This man is tired. No, what gave it away? I have no idea. It's such an absurd and off the cuff idea. Donald is short of sleep, and it looks as if it didn't even bother I like to how the floating to bed. shows that you're tired. I mm -hmm. You could just have crumpled clothing because you're not going to bother ironing it. Yeah. Mr. Padova, I don't know why I'm here. Okay. Then why are you here? Uh, sure about the fact that he'll be listened to, become impatient. Excuse me, being guilty. Sure. You are Who not before? You convince me that you are not guilty. You don't understand me. Mr. Paro, sure. since Betty's death, I've doubts about myself. I don't know what to do. Is that... And I keep having oh, a horrible a dream three nights in a row. I thought that pair was like his leg and there's a nail sticking out of it or something. Encourage him to continue, become patient. Point out that it's not a psychi psychoanalysis office. Yeah, that's a like, good one. A dream? I am no psychoanalyst, my friend. Good God. How enough could I have thought you'd listen to me? Well, that's not rude. That's not what I said. And tell me about this dream. That's exactly I said what that I wasn't a professional. Yeah. I didn't actually say I wouldn't so listen. the same. I'm on the beach with Betty. I grab her around the throat and I squeeze. Well, that's not and how she died. She's dead. No, she was choked from behind. Her head falls and back. with her belt. And with and her belt. I see. Yeah. That's no longer Betty. It's Megan's face. What? Have you seen Megan Barnard recently? Yes, our grief has brought us together. I never really knew her before. She's really quite a remarkable girl. Okay. But I would never tell her about my dream. Yeah, so... Why not? Sometimes at night, it's I dream about I'm killing you. Actually, dream. I'm killing your sister, but then it turns out to no, be you. It's so I'm killing both of you. And once Betty okay. is dead, yeah. it's Megan's face that... The dream means you want both place. of them dead. Very interesting. Yeah, basically. Hi, yes, Deep what down, now try and murder. get our brain cells to work. Really? We're brain cellalizing a dream? A sad person? Yes. See, the two murders were premeditated, carried out by the same murderer. Donald was very much in love with Betty. Donald was a violent man. Uh, does not kill Megan in his dreams. He is tired. He feels, feels guilty. guilty. Thanks, Megan. I think he also, uh... Yeah. The one where he likes... No? He's Where's one. the one where he likes her? There we are. Nope. Try the one where he doesn't actually kill Megan in his dream. Uh... With the top one. That one? Yep. No? So let's see. Doesn't kill her. Likes her. He mm. feels guilty, though. He's tired. He's violent. 
Maybe this one replaces one of them. Uh, no. Nope. I want to put that one back because I feel like that's important. Show you. He likes you or feels guilty. Nope. I <laughs> place that. Let's try that one. That's not right nope. either. One of these is wrong. Yes. I, or two. Oh! Too long. Uh, this one replaces... Nope. Maybe that it's violent. Or that he's tired. <sighs> I think him liking the sister... And... Uh, there you what? Go. They're all starting to feel... Mr. Fraser, I think that the real meaning of this dream is that you are in love with Megan Barnard. Please go on. Do. This dream certainly betrays your guilt. You're guilty. Oh. You did Mad it. What do you feel guilty about? Having killed your fiancé? You hang my Possible. Dog. Or forgetting her very quickly for her sister? Certainly. And this forgetting is perceived as a second death. So you don't really think I was the one who killed Betty? I do not exclude this theory. I am simply saying that I do not need to know that fact to explain your dream and your guilt. Thank you for being frank, Mr. Poirot. You've helped me a great deal. I'm going back to Bexhill. I'll not take any more of your time up. Mm, it is late, Mr. I still Fraser, think he probably did it. Oh, wait, no. I'll That's a ridiculous claim. We saw who did it. Yeah. I like it was the guy that looked really sickly. It's easy to sleep yep. rock by the sound of the wheels. Well, we can still just uh, accuse him of doing it because it's fun. Yep. Poor boy, he seems completely lost. Well, women well, seem to like him. just die. I think Megan will yeah. take care of him. Ah, yeah, she seems a little I bit remember. Did psychotic. Did you order the product I needed? I think they're all Yes, kind of we'll be receiving it tomorrow. Yeah, Especially it him. is late, and I ask Miss Gray to him? come tomorrow morning. Uh, There's two hymns right there. I wish to the main ask guy, I forget his name. Perot? Yeah. I'm not good with names. Some objects in your inventory can be modified. That's what I was talking about earlier. Eh. Mademoiselle, I, I ask you, you here come? in order to answer a very important question. It's a new day. Eh. We're asking her a very important mm -hmm. question. Accuser of being a murderer. That she did not say anyone on the day. Accuser of having lied, accuser of being... She lied. You lied mm -hmm. to us, and I demand to know why. But what are you talking about? Yet, Just Lady Clark to... maintained that she saw you talking to a stranger on the front doorstep. Really? She must have been mistaken. I don't oh. like you. I remember now. I <laughs> she must have been mistaken. It, but it wasn't Oh, no, important. never mind. It was I remember. just a salesman. <laughs> One of those traders who sell stockings from door to door. Can you describe him to me? Me you and just a salesman. Glasses, dark suit, and a felt hat. Not the oh. sort of man you notice. Completely That's, uh, harmless. Sickly That's guy. why I forgot all yeah. about him. Nothing else? He was very hesitant and shy. Usually, door-to-door -door salesmen are very so confident. He's bad at his job. But yeah. he wasn't. It's his first day. He's, he's worried uh, that... Indicate that she lied about leaving Tristan. Uh, Ask whether she resigned of her own free will. Point out that she's that her right. departure is spoiled. It's suspicious. It's, yeah. yeah. It's suspicious. Oh, I'm quite curious. No. You did not leave Tristan willingly, I believe. I don't wish to lie. Lady Clark did not appreciate my presence. And Franklin... Cannot go against the wishes of a sick lady. He is a good man, and he worries a great deal about his sister-in-law. I don't know. I noticed that you left some personal belongings behind at Churston. Ask if she will collect the objects. Say that the risks present a risk. Ask if she'll return to Churston. No, yeah, the risk. This one? Yeah. It was too risky for you to keep these objects. Am I correct? Risky. What was the risk? Uh... Accuse her of holding the murder weapon. Say that the curse of the dragon is on her. Say that Lady Clark would have accused her of You know that. very well what Lady I Clark might have said. You have kept these <laughs> objects. Indeed. These objects were gifts. But Lady Clark would have been convinced that I'd stolen them. By returning them, 
I put an end to such evil gossip. Bien. I must ask you one last question. Please reply frankly with either yes or no. If Lady Clark had died, would you have agreed to marry Sir Carmichael if he'd ask you? How really? dare you ask that wasn't such yes a question? No. I know, but still. Sir Carmichael it was a very simple just like his daughter. question that he asked her and all that answer. I ever felt yeah, you could just say and gratitude, you could just nothing uh, else. So I'm very shocked, no. Yeah. Thank you, mademoiselle. I will not keep you any longer. I think a lot of people in here are damaged, especially when you can't answer a simple yes or no question. Was it simple yes or no? Yeah. I met Thora Grail, says that logic, her though, cheeks were ablaze, and she appeared to be deeply hurt. Too. Poirot, have and you offended the poor really girl again? Yes or no. Do you have good yes, reasons have. for accusing her? I have really. once I accused her of nothing, once. it seems. I simply mm. asked her an important I'm question she did not answer. Time. Let us see if we I can answer it for her. Ask sisters a specific yes or no question. I even specified that it was yes or no. And, get and I got a very work. long explanation. Wow, that's your <laughs> fault. Would Aura have married Carmichael if he lived? Probably. Uh, Thor Grace stood behind interest in his settle his affairs. So Carmichael was very close to Thor. Uh, had offered Thor a brooch. Like it's Franklin. It's evasive about her relationship. His seductress. Nope. He found her charm. To the brooch. Replacing? I don't know, the top one. One of them. Maybe all of them. Eh. Nope. So, put that there. What day do we have up right now? Um. Let's see. Uh. Carmichael found her charming. She is evasive. Uh. And he was close to her. Should I find something to replace the evasive one in the middle? Evasive? Yeah. It wasn't the brooch. Could be that she likes Franklin. We could try that one. That she's a seductress. Wait, that she likes Franklin? Nope. Oh. She seduces. Uh, sit behind the cells of hers. Oh, I guess it's not that one. Um, what could it be? Let's just start. Doing ones that don't seem to have anything to do with it. We've gotten really bad at these. Yeah. Let's see. It's close. Is it evasive? Approach. That. I don't know. I'm tired. What did it do? It replaced a couple of them. Evasive. Evasive. Seductress. Okay, so I think the top one's wrong. The top one? I completely missed which ones it was messing with. Yeah, I have no clue. Nope. And try that one. Let us go through. Nope. So it's none of those. Okay, so I was wrong. Which uh, shoe did it mess with? Evasive. She's a seductress. I don't know. I thought she liked him. Was that one? I was not paying attention at all. Same. Let's use the light pink one. Nope. It's not the proper order. There's blue in there. Oh, yeah. what? Hi. If I wanted to be married, it would certainly have succeeded. You must know how to read between the lines, Hastings. When Sir Carmichael refers to paternal affection, he's lying to himself. Read this engraving on the brooch. A dark dragon for an angel with glossy hair. These are the words of a lover, not a father. Yeah. Lady Clark was not wrong. What if Sir Carmichael had fallen in love with his secretary? That doesn't mean that she forced him to do so. True, there are extenuating circumstances. She is a penniless orphan. But she is calculating. Rude. Just look how she avoided it when I asked if she would have married Clark. She didn't avoid it. I see. You think she seduced yeah, Sir Carmichael? She said, how dare game, you? And that now yeah, she's she doing the same didn't as his answer brother. Prior, simple, yes, your no world question. is a very dark place. She insulted you, gave Do me a half answer. We have you another want more down. important well, matter to set on. Out. Really? Uh... Yes, no, I thought we told her we Miss she Gray taught me something new. Mm, I don't remember. I Let us now try her. and get our brain cells to work. <laughs> More of these. Cool. What is it? Are there 
common points between them. <laughs> Let's see. There are many people in Churston. Betty's mother is upset that she never got her stockings. Man door to door salesman. Uh, door to door salesman. Uh, seaside. Murder was a seducer. Stockings. And nothing oh, there's stockings and a yeah door to door salesman that sells stockings. Nope, that wasn't you. Uh, yeah, because that was the most common one I said. Let's see, yeah, uh, I'm able to describe is that she saw one. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, before each. It's perfectly, it clear, it's perfectly clear. It's perfectly clear. No. Indeed, a stocking seller visited Andover, Bexhill, and Churston on the day of each murder. We have our suspect. This should be of interest, Jop. Yep. So, now we're going to make a phone call. And we're going to wrap this up finally. Chief Inspector, we are looking for a stocking salesman. I see you have a suspect. Yes. Contact all the stocking call sellers Just who may employ all him. All of them. Yeah. Your suspect so is a could salesman. Be like a billion different no, he does not take uh, orders. He sells door to door. In the right. Area. The hunt is on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just round up like all the door to door salesmen. Yeah. Just arrest them all, hold yep. them in confinement, come yep. by and question them uh, tomorrow. Definitely get all the ones that uh, have a license, but find all the ones that don't. Are you leaving, Mr. Cust? Mr. Cust, okay, Yes, I'm going to Cheltenham. You shouldn't travel today. You don't look very well. I have to. Mm. I... I have engagements. I must respect them. Must you? Because I, I don't... You don't have to kill people. Yeah. Like, do you have points by acting in the way of... Him? Can you get the post, Hastings? And why don't you go and get it yourself? Don't talk Where back, Where did Mr. that Mustache. venom come from? What's going on? I've never known Hastings to be so disagreeable. Agreed. Let's stab him. Up until his exact point, he's been like, well, exactly as how he put it, a puppy. We should stab him. Ugh. Teach him a lesson. We're not stabbing him. Me between the shoulder blades. You're a horrible person. Poor Mister Poirot. Oh, look, I'm uh, quite letter. sorry for you. If at first you don't service. succeed, tie, tie again. We have a long now we're gonna have way to spend the next ten steal. minutes so we can figure out ooh, if this one no, might be part that comes of the later. same printer mm. stuff. Which you can clearly next see from just a quick glance at yeah, the eye and the yeah. A. September 11th. Yeah, this so is very telltale the w. size. It's the exact same I and W. I won't have to go through and look at all the letters and make sure they line up correctly. Yeah, some fancy circles. He says they're right there. In different colors, even. Yeah. Mm. What? Go away. What is that? It is not the right time. There's a thing there. Are you telling me it's not the right time? Ugh. I dislike you. Come here. Let's just compare the two letters. Yay! Why with the second one? Oh no, well, we've first. confirmed that closely. the second one is it's still one of the first one be better. Certain eh. characters in the tweet. Shut, Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Right. Shut Let us up. Up. Why do you keep speaking? Well, we've very already vain. been over That's this. Right. The yep. Thank you. I have yep. to find. Yep. 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 We're good. I we know how that much it would to get this the different colored pens at that time. That's actually a really good question. Right. Yep. Let us compare. Yep. We're comparing. Don't speak so I can. Yes. Yep. The eye characters uh, in the toilet. There any these are W's. There's a W there. Similar. Yeah. And there's, there's a W in there. W's. Yep. Give me. Hmm. The W is not. Yep. W. Right. Let's so compare this. Weak and not there. Yay! Of course, it's the, the same thing. My theory was it's right. amazing. So smart. Actually, well, even these that. colors, they're a lot brighter than I'm pretty sure Hastings. you could get. Strikes tomorrow. Probably. 
Chief mm, Inspector Jack. Striking. He's on another line. What? Can I take a message? Yes, please, mademoiselle. It is from Hercule Poirot. Tell him ABC strikes tomorrow in Doncaster. He must call but me back. That's really important, so you can get back Very to well, me sir. tomorrow if you really need to. Yeah. I just need a body. Yeah. yeah, now I'm you going to see what I can maybe find from this burnt There document. might be a murder tomorrow, I the product I need. which is a lot shorter Hastings, notes than normal. Mind, I would like you to take a few notes. Yes, yes. What is your problem with me all of a sudden? He needs stabbed. Or oh, shock. Do we have a cattle Wait. rod? Prod? Cipher, burn documents, where be those? Is that the bundle? That was probably the bundle. Probably. Hi. No, I don't. Yes. Givey. Now, down to work. Yep. So give it. Give it. What of this needs putting in order, Halit? Oh, it's just one of these puzzles. I don't mind these. These aren't too horrible. Uh, this is pretty much just a uh, puzzle. That's exactly what I just said. Well, I mean, the puzzles so far have been like, you open this drawer to unlock this drawer to Unlock open this that other one over here. Yeah, this one is just, um... That doesn't fit. Did it just say it fit? Yeah. It doesn't, though. This one's like an actual puzzle. A ridiculous one, because they... Thank you. This is like the tiniest piece of paper ever. I know. None of those this fit right. Finished. Yeah. That's and it's done. finished. Three more to go. It's because he's so smart. He just knows for sure that's like it's like that. That's stupid. But he's a genius, so you can't question it. I will question all the things. I'm... This piece should be placed here. Shut up, it is. You with your ridiculous paper placements. I think that the this, you you weren't just, speaking before. You just have to throw in his that. two cents. This page yeah. is finished. But it's not. And that's too None dumb. of that lines up. It's easy. None of it. Don't worry, he's a genius. He's got this. Huh. That's not how that's done. <sighs> Whatever. Well, it's because I didn't use a paper shredder. This would have been way more fun with a paper shredder. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't have. Give that him something to be able to complain there. about. This page is child's <laughs> This page is finished. Yeah, it is. At Only least those are more. closer to fitting, right? They're still not, mm -hmm. but at least they're closer. Honestly. Oh, look. It's finished. It's a miracle. It's so simple. <laughs> Why? You were dead silent the first one. I liked you then, kind of. At this least like you more. We'll go with that. All the pages are reconstructed. No, yep. Not really. As soon as you open a window, that was really, <laughs> and then you that go was really and stack impressive. them. Why would you stack them? Yeah. As soon as you open a window, or something. Just I'm actually not sure. A bottle do. of solvent. Yeah. Do I think he needs to sniff it and get high and then continue with this? What are you? You are the letter. I don't care about you. You. Do I dump them in there? Do I? Okay, so it was the cloth. Ooh, the cloth is now purple. soaked with salt. Mm, it's a magic purple. Give. Thank you. I just dab, dab, dab. <laughs> the same thing that I was going to do, but uh, with more I didn't effects. get to do. Got it. Yep. Make a note, Hastings. Make a note. Mrs. Ali Sasha, Sharpona in Andover. Tracheitis, hemoptysis, prescribed. Yeah, you can do other them. stuff. He can read it himself. I got it. Yeah. Look. Look where? Probably has a notebook. Baro, where on earth did you find these files? On a fire at the bottom of the garden at Comside. All right, okay. but where did the person who burned them find them? In the uh, one drawer. We should look in the mirror to get uh, ego points. Read the constructed. Well, uh, we can do that in a second. Alice Asher, shopkeeper in Hendover. Tracheitis, hemoptysis, chronic cough with loss of blood. Prescribed laudanum based cough medicine. Pretty sure. Betty Barnard, waitress in Bexhill. Chronic bronchitis, causing dysphonia. Advised to stop smoking. 
Alexander Bonaparte cast. While wounded, mustard gas and head trauma, pulmonary emphysema, hemoptysis, coughing fits with blood, suffers from absences and amnesia. Mm. Oh, that's the, the yeah, that's the guy Owner that's been of the Black Swan shanking Hotel people. In Doncaster. Yeah. Asthmatic, heart disease, heart condition. Mm. You got it right now. Try and get mm. our brain cells to work. Why would our amnesiac be a shanker, though? Who knows? Let's see. We know where they came uh, from. Yeah. I mm. assume he wants to know how they got there, though. Eh. Let's see there. Two people. Uh, medical records. That. So our shank has been killing other people like him with throat problems. Not yeah. Him. The documents came from Dr. Carmichael's patient. The names. burned documents are medical records and without a doubt they come from Clark's archives. Mm -hmm. First of all, because all the patients have throat conditions. And secondly, their name starts with either A, B, C, or D. And it is precisely the files that so match these himself. letters that have been tampered know. with. But why burn these files? How come the names of the two victims appear Actually, on them? And who are the two other something. patients? They These came from the questions. doctors, whose name does start with a C, but the patient was cursed. 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 No, there was a T at the end. Oh no, cussed. C-U-S-D. Okay. Yeah. Cussed. Anyway. Yeah, if... he wouldn't- he, we already have the C victim, right? Yeah. So who's the D? Uh, I don't remember. What am I doing? I wasn't paying attention. Ah. Enter the phone. Yeah. Actually, it's probably not that important, seeing as how the murder is just happening tomorrow and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, you know. Tip. Maybe we invite Hello, him out to lunch. <laughs> Any news, Chief Inspector? You wanted a stocking seller? We have one. Reported by his landlady, who thought he was behaving suspiciously. He has the most unbelievable name. Okay. Cast. Uh, yeah. Alexander Bonaparte Cust. Yes. Alexander Bonaparte Cust? How oh, did you guess? Yeah. Poro, you have magical powers. If it's it was a serious a lead. I called Doncaster. Okay, no. I'm pretty sure we've moved past that. description has been that seen at the station. Time, but still. He got off the train from London, but after that, nobody knows oh, where he went. He could always bring it back. And, okay, the Black Swan Hotel. Yeah, I'd be the... Look for him at the Black Swan Hotel. Yeah. What? Probably. How do you know he's there? Trust that's me, where Chief Inspector. The one with the name you with the to D be very is. sure of yourself? Very well. I'll call the Black Swan straight away. The owner is going to get a shock when he learns that there's a murderer under his roof. Why would you tell him well? that? Yeah. yeah, sure. Do your best, Jap. <laughs> do your you best. Can count on me. <laughs> it's all you can do, yeah. but. Do your best. Hastings, everything is at stake. With a little luck, our men suspect will soon be Why would you tell them that key. it was a murder? Just say, hey, is yeah. anyone by the name? So has Cust been arrested? <sighs> yes, the Doncaster police are sending him by train. Oh, he that is good news. Yeah. But why so gloomy, Chief Inspector? Well, when I told the hotel owner that he was sheltering a murderer, he collapsed. Yeah, what? Yes. yes. No, fortunately, but it has taken its toll on him. It has to be said that with his name starting with the letter yeah. D, he had every reason to fear Cust. I bet he was going to be the next victim. I've already forgotten. Uh... Yeah. The medical records. Hmm. Chief Inspector, I believe that I share responsibility for this incident. Right, he had a heart what thing. I saw Forgot Mr. About Dunbar's that. medical records. His heart was weak. I should have warned you. Well, also, you just He's don't tell people that they're sheltering murderers. Problems. Yeah, that was stupid. Gesture. Please keep me informed of his progress. But yeah, I completely forgot about the heart me. thing and that, that might have been a... Uh, I will visit him at his bedside when the killer is caught. That's typical yeah, yeah, We should focus on the next part of the investigation in order to avoid other incidents. While yeah, we're waiting yeah. to question Cust, we could search his room in London. Where does he live? The Marbury Guest House. So the one I'll thing you didn't know. Yeah. Yes, but start without me. First of all, I have to sort out a few details. Why would you start with Alfred? He's not an actual police. I understand. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't... I don't even think he's an actual detective. Uh, 
I think he's a we are making good progress. Yeah. Please go in search of room of our number one. But suspect. yeah, you please do not let With pleasure. anyone, or at I least you're not supposed to let anyone into any so that is why you suspected are so area tempered. for various crimes. A visit to the dentist before is never them an themselves, enjoyable prospect. so that way nothing can be but contaminated. One. Go to your appointment, yeah. Hastings. I will manage on my own. Honestly, you think he was grouchy over a dentist appointment? Really? He's like, screw you, I don't want to help. I gotta go have my teeth pulled. <laughs> to a guest house, Keep please. <laughs> He's gonna die. Yep. He'll be shanked by the landlady. Probably. Anyway. He's gonna be like, you shouldn't travel with Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I think I'm going to call it here. And so, on that note, the heat wrote.